guys welcome to my channel welcome to another video by yours truly your favorite melanin queen <laughs> Welcome to my channel. For those that are new here today, welcome. My name is Khotato and thank you so much for tuning in. We do everything fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, travel, everything. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. So please click that subscribe button and also the bell notification so that every time I upload something here, you guys are notified. And if you're a returning supporter, thank you so much for your continued support, my love. I just felt like doing a get to know me tag. I've done it before, but I feel like because we are growing, I mean... <laughs> We are growing. <laughs> the last time I checked, I was sitting on 71 subscribers and today we are on 415, if I'm not mistaken. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm so grateful to God. I am so grateful to you guys. Um, do not stop now. Continue subscribing. Continue sharing my content. <laughs> I can't believe this. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just get right into it. I actually have a few people that asked questions on Instagram, so I think... I am going to tackle that after because I do have some questions in my notebook. So the first question that I have is, what is your middle name? Guys, I think I've answered this before. My middle name is Deirdre, um, but I honestly prefer Hotato because I was born Hotato Precious Motecha, but stuff happened and it was changed to Deirdre. It's a beautiful name, but I just feel like, you know what, Hotato is fine. And the second question, what is your favorite drink? Guys, if you know me, you know how much I love Coke. I love Coke with everything in me. If I had to drink one thing for the rest of my life, it's definitely going to be Coke. I love Coke. Coca-Cola, I hope you're watching this because, chill. It's me and you. I love Coke. Cheers, guys. Coca-Cola. The next question is, what is your favorite holiday destination? Guys, I know there's Dubai. I know there's France. I know there's just so many countries that I can go to, but I'm a Thailand girl. Like, I've always wanted to go to Thailand. And by the grace of God, um, when I start traveling, the first country that I want to go to is Thailand. Um, I love elephants. I really, really love elephants. And I know I can just get to see them anywhere in South Africa. Um, but... The elephants in Thailand, it's where it's at. I don't know how, but yeah, I want to go to Thailand. If I want to see elephants up close and personal, it's going to be in Thailand, child. And the next question that you have is, what is your favorite store? <laughs> Zara, baby. I love Zara. Like, oh, I love Zara. And I remember even with my first paycheck in 20, I started working in 2018. I think I started working in 2018 and the first thing that I did with my salary was go to Zara there's black pants that I bought and I keep on buying them because it's cooler so yeah <laughs> that was my first paycheck I went to Zara I love Zara like yeah Zara if you want to make me happy send me gift card yeah, go Zara. send me money to go to Zara go to Zara get me jeans you know I love Zara I honestly do um what is your favorite color I love black I really do love black, but I promised myself I'm going to invest more in your tropical colors, which I'm trying to, but I love black. Like, black is the mother of all colors, child. And the next question is, how would you describe your fashion sense? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like my outfits are not chilled, but at the same time, they're not complicated, if that even makes sense. Yeah, I'm just in the middle. I'm very experimental, if I can put it like that. Um, if I put it on and it looks good, I feel good. Trust me, we're going with it. So I I don't have a specific fashion sense. Whatever looks good on me, we go for it. Um, and what are your nicknames? Okay, people call me Tato. I love that so much. There's a guy that actually calls me Tato. Really love it and Khuti, my siblings siblings my nephews and nieces call me sis Khuti, which i really really love like i really love that and what else kg everybody calls me kg 
Um, what's something you did that you feel negatively affected your relationship with God? Hmm. Okay, I know on his side, there's absolutely nothing that I can do that will change how he feels about me. I know God loves me. I know I'm God's masterpiece. You know, I keep saying that. And But on my side, I feel like this is 2024. Two years ago, I knew nothing outside of God. Um, I had a full-blown relationship with God and life happened, you know. Um, I started doing things outside of my norm. I would, I started going to groove. I started drinking, which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with. I'm just talking about me. I started drinking. I started going out to groove and 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 i feel like slowly i started disconnecting from god but i've decided that i'm going to reconnect fully and i'm super super excited about that because life without god is i don't know there's no life without god so yeah and it's it's very funny because do you know there's people that i last spoke to a long time ago about two years ago and 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 they actually come back and ask me, Hotata, the last time I checked, you were not drinking. The last time I checked, you were like this. What happened? What happened to being a church girl? That's what they call me. Um, but life just happened, guys. And honestly, I don't regret it because I feel like I needed to experience that in order for me to be able to move forward in my life, to be able to know, you know, what life really is. So, yeah. I I am I'm so glad I'm a child of God. I yo guys, I love God. <laughs> That's just a story time on its own, but if you know me, you know. And <laughs> are you in a relationship? No, my darling, I'm not in a relationship. And how old are you? I am 24 years old. I'm turning 25 in a month, I think. In two months actually um is this your first youtube channel no this is not my first youtube channel and funny thing is back in the day i didn't know that one could generate money from youtube i started a youtube channel simply because i wanted to sing and just put my music out there i wanted to put my self out there you know just to get the recognition that I wanted and you know and funny enough there's a video that I uploaded I think I was 18 if not 17 that's when I started my first YouTube channel and it's sitting on like 16,000 views and I can't even access it anymore because I feel like mm -hmm, I need that for my watch hours <laughs> I honestly do but yeah that is that was that was my first first YouTube channel I didn't know that I could generate money I didn't know anything about brands I didn't know anything about it, but now we are grown and experienced, okay? Now we know. Um, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Guys, if I tell you about me, um, I feel like this camera is not doing justice to my complexion, okay? I am dark-skinned, and where I grew up, I grew up in a society where there was something wrong with being dark-skinned, and I grew up with this low self-esteem i knew oh my word oh my word this is just a story and it's only I'm, I'm actually going to do a video on this um i felt like there was something wrong with me growing up i had a very low self-esteem i didn't believe in myself i felt like i was ugly like all sorts of things you know and the people around me always made sure i i didn't want to take pictures because i felt like i'm bonarali behind the camera you know funny but that's exactly what i went through um and growing up going to high school i still had a very low self-esteem i didn't believe in myself and i feel like the people from high school when they see me now they're like what happened to her because i've changed in so many ways i believe in myself my self-esteem is on hundreds you know um so yeah it's just one of those things where i'm here to advocate for my melanin babies I'm here to tell you that you're beautiful. I'm here to tell you that there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. I'm here to tell you that you can do this, you know. Growing up, after high school, um, I get to see all these beautiful girls from Ghana. I get to see these beautiful girls from... There's this Instagram page, um, Dark Skinned 
women or dark skin models or something i was always on that profile and and i'm like Khotato, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you so i just feel like you know what um i owe myself that much i really do um i worked on my confidence now i worked on my self-esteem and no one can tell me anything you know one thing i know is i am that girl with that million dollar complexion you know i hope that answers your question um the next question that i have is what brands would you like to work with in future? <laughs> it's you guys believing in me for me um i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but anything and everything that aligns with my brand with what i do um anything that aligns with who i am actually definitely just to name a few i would am i really allowed to do this um cotton on your h and m your mr price i would like to be the face of something one day god i hope you are listening um yeah let's let's travel guys let's let's create fashion content let's create lifestyle content let's just you know i, I just want to be i just want to be in a situation where a dark skin girl can just look at me and say i want to be like her you know if she can do it why can't i you know so yeah let's just let's just take over the world um i don't want to mention any companies but anything and everything that's got to do with travel that's got to do with fashion that's got to do with lifestyle i'm here and let's see if i've got any more questions from instagram because these months i got them from elsewhere let's see So these are the ones that I got from Instagram. <laughs> and the first one that I have is, do you introduce your boyfriends to your family? Absolutely not. I think with the way that I grew up, um, I don't know if other babies actually do this, but I can't do that. It's it's disrespectful. I, I can't. I can't go to my mom and say, this is my boyfriend or she would slap the living shit out of me yo and what is the highest amount you received <laughs> it's girlfriend allowance um i wouldn't say i've received i've ever received girlfriend allowance i don't think i have i don't know if it's considered allowance but i think there's a guy that i dated that once bought me a phone I don't even remember what happened i think i lost my phone or something and then he sent me money to buy a brand new phone which i did um and what, what else happened oh okay the other thing is the guy that i used to date would just give me his card mm. he would just give me his card and i go do whatever i want my hair my nails buy whatever i want and and but yeah if that's considered girlfriend allowance i don't know it doesn't keep track um yeah I, i've never received money from a guy who says nine maliako for the month the only thing that i've ever received was that 3k for a phone and his card for whatever it is that i had to do um how much do you need to spend on goal maintenance every month toiletry hair nails uh your being a girl is expensive guys like being a girl is so expensive because now you need to buy Woo, uh, uh. <laughs> it's a lot and you know usually i would have my short hair if not my short hair i would just have my weave i guess so but for now let me talk last month these were um, i paid 850 rands for these and then for my nails that is my toes and my minis i spent i don't even remember i think these were 350 and my toes were 300 rand so 650 rand um and then what else did i do for toiletries honestly speaking i don't really keep track of how much i spend on my toiletries the only thing that i know that i buy is obviously your on your lotion your intimate wash like your gel your powder i get your liners your your tampons 
your body mist i always get those and if you consider perfume toiletry then i always get that as well i don't know what else i get toothpaste um i don't know mouthwash um foam bath i i don't know yeah i don't keep track but you know you know <laughs> Being a girl is expensive, guys. Like, being a girl is really expensive. Not for this makeup. And the next question that I have is What do you think about therapy? Personally, I need therapy. There's just so many things that happened in my life, and I feel like at some point I didn't believe in therapy because I felt like, what's the point of me telling? my problems to a stranger if i can just pray about it or if i can just keep quiet about it you know but right now i'm like no hotato but this thing has affected you so much i also once did a story time about almost getting kidnapped to this day i'm still trying to figure out if i really almost got kidnapped or um if those people were just playing around i really don't know but yeah ever since that incident it's it's been really difficult for me to walk alone now i can walk alone it's not a problem but back then whenever i see a car i would just hide you know so there's just so many things that happen in my life and i feel like i need therapy so i believe in it i honestly do um i feel like there wouldn't be therapists if we didn't need to talk to people about these things a professional that is what is the cause of the breakups that you've been through Okay, so I only recognize two relationships. So the first one, my partner cheated on me. I was, it's the first, first every time that I did, I think. Um, I was staying with him and I had to go home. And when I came back, I was going through his phone. And yeah, he cheated on me with the school girl. So yeah, I went crazy. And the second relationship, um, you yeah. know, I think I'm gonna need to do a story time on this because long chita wa me tisa matamu zana out too in the relationship and mind you, I was paying for everything <laughs> like yo sana I was paying for everything dates he would ask me for money and the things that we do for love guys no man but all and wise and all right and I also have this question you feel like you forgive easily yes I do um it with me you don't even have to come and apologize for what you did i remember actually no let me put it this way there is somebody that is the closest to me and she would say the most craziest things does that even make sense she would say the craziest things about me and everything surrounding me my life and one thing about me, I'm not even going to wait for you to come and say, Khotata, I'm sorry, or please forgive me for X, Y, Z. I'll just let it go. It happens naturally. I don't know if it's normal, but Nikfunabati Unyenze, the worst... I can't speak Zulu, what did I just say? Nikfunabati Unyenze, the worst of things. I will just let it go. Honestly, I will forget about it. Like, nothing happened. And somebody will be like, oh, remember, oh, my friends, I want you three for I'm like, hmm, now I remember. But other than that, I just, yes, it hurts. It really, it, it really hurts when people do stuff to you. But in my case, in Minangwazi, guys, I just let it go. I don't know how, but yeah. And also, what is your greatest fear? Um, I feel like I do not want to be in a situation where I'm not able to afford Izindo, you know, in life. I want to be able to afford my life. I want to be able to afford your lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, I want I love luxury. <laughs> if you know, you know. Like I love I love I love the finer things in life. And I feel like if I don't make it, ooh, I don't even know why I feel like that. Why am I even saying such things? I know I'm gonna make it. Even if it takes me 10 years from now, I'm definitely going to make it. So if this answers your question, I think I am, um, I don't want to be average if I can put it like that. I want to travel whenever I want to travel. I want to buy a car whenever I feel like buying a car. I want to buy a house whenever I want to buy a house. I want to be in a situation where I have to save up and, and, and I don't want to, I don't want that. And I'm willing to put in the work, honestly. And the next question is one high school moment you will never forget i honestly didn't really have 
good high school years honestly i like i said i didn't believe in myself i was always a follower you know i was never a person of my own i would also like follow people around and 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 so yeah i didn't really have I, there's nothing I, I can't think of anything i can't think of oh there was this girl it lasts me accounting <laughs> she said something ridiculous about my aunt and yeah we didn't really fight but and somewhat they found out okay i don't even know how because when i got home but yeah <laughs> that's what happened and then when did you start seeking to have a relationship with god did i not answer this did i not answer this um i grew up into a christian family um i've always had a relationship with god and kola from when i was born if you know my family it's those my family is hardcore into god like you know it's just that things happened when i turned how old am i now when i turned 22 things changed and i started disconnecting from god in so many ways but other than that i've i've I grew up into a Christian home. I, you know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've always been a church girl. I've always been singing Isuntweni for as long as I can remember. I only stopped like a few years ago because of Papa, you know? And yeah. The last question that I have is, how was your first kiss? Cha, I don't even remember who I kissed. We're just talking about a kiss, right? So um I, I i don't remember i don't want to lie like i i really can't think of anyone at the top of my head that i first kissed because i remember there was a guy <laughs> oh my god he's gonna see this i remember there was a guy i think that i, I can label him my first first boyfriend this is my we went home because we're from the same village um yo that nigga tried to kiss me like he really tried he wanted to touch me but i was just an innocent little girl i knew nothing about yo i was just an innocent girl and no matter how hard he tried to touch me to kiss me i refused being saba because one thing about me i i have a strict mother like my mom is very strict she made sure to put out so you have to be straight you know and it was just not gonna work we have reached the end of the video and if you've made it this far thank you so so much for your support i really 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 hope you have subscribed already and you have turned on your bell notifications so that every time i upload something here you guys are notified if you've got any more questions or if you feel like i didn't answer a question properly just leave it in the comment section and whatever it is that you'd like me to film next please just let me know in the comment section that is the only time i actually get to see what you guys really really like and what you guys want to see on my channel so yeah thank you so so much for watching god bless